just because we have the rope doesn't necessarily mean that we have to block with it. As Roy comes in and attacks, I'm going to block, helicopter, I want to catch the rope in my elbow. From here, I pinch the elbow to secure the rope, put my hand on the back of his head, now I can start doing my choke, and also at the same time, pressing with my hand here, collapsing him down, I've got absolute control over him. If he starts getting cute, I can come out and still do my strikes, pull the rope out, clear distance with him. Let's look at that from the opposite direction, Roy. Here, I check off, bring it around, catch it in the elbow. You have to pinch tight. The key is to pull back with this hand. That pulls Roy into me. I step back, pull down, and press at the same time. He's now in control. If I want, I can pass the rope to one hand and be choking him while this hand is available. From this direction. Check off the block. Helicopter. Pinch. Press. Pull. Down he goes. I don't necessarily have to take him to the ground on his belly. I can sit him back here, and then I have control of him here as well. On this next one, we're going to use the right hand to block. The rope's going to stay in the hand. I'm going to do a back fist strike motion. I can either catch with this opposite hand, go back to our pressure point applications we discussed earlier, or I can catch with the same hand. Block, slash, catch. Now I can cam, and as I cam, this rope goes right into the throat. I can also take the cam now and throw him from that position, follow up with my strike. Let's look at that one more time. Blocking here, not with the rope, but with the arm, slash, catch it with the same hand. As you do your twist, shortens up the rope. Many ways we can step through, throw him, and do our strike. Just take your time with your partner. As you twist that rope, it's going to squeeze on his throat. He'll go up on his toes, making the roll easy to do. On our next one, we're going to block with the left and circle. Block, circle. I want to catch the rope down here and then play it out and around his head. In this case, I'm going to take the rope right along his jawline and use that as a steering mechanism to take him down. Avoid the punch, block, toss that up, comes around, you've got your steering mechanism. He's down, he's in control. If he should happen to try and punch with the other hand during that process, block here, that other punch comes in, you trap that as well now too. I can also play it here, and I circle the whole thing up nice and sweet, escort him to the ground. Be careful on this one. He doesn't have the ability to break fall because I have both of his arms trapped. Let's see that one more time, Roy. Block sweep, goes over, creates some space, pull him towards me, up on the rope. At this point, if you want to be particularly mean, you drive straight down, smashing his head into the floor. Roll him over to get off of you. You can pull your rope out nice and easy.
Our last one in this sequence is real simple. We're going to block his arm as he punches at me. Quick elbow strike. That presents his head here as we saw earlier. I flip over, flip him around. I now have the ability to pull him away, circle and choke. Lots of things we can play from that angle. So quick block elbow, get the head. If you wanna just smash him here, that's fine. Follow out, strike to the head, give him an extra pop on the way by. You have a lot of options. Remember, just because you have a rope in your hand doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use that to block. You can use your open hand to do the blocks as well.